There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rain, man. Nickel, neodymium, and neptunium, germanium, man. On americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and astin, uranium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium. And iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's your tunium, terbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, meridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and pithobium, and lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holium, helium, and hafnium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and manganese, mercury, malevium, magnesium, dysprosium, and scandium, cerium, cesium, and lepris, ultimium, and plium, plutonium, and palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalum, technesium, titanium, tellurium, <gasps> and cadmium, and calcium, and chromium, and curium. There's sulfur, californium, fermium, berkelium, and also manlinium, einsteinium, nobilium, and argon, quitonium, radiazine, and rhodium, chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, and sodium. These are the ones of which that the news has come to Harvard. There may be many, many others, but they haven't been discovered. <laughs>